It could be the Phantom of the Paramount. A pianist visiting the Paramount Theater in Austin Sunday snapped this photo. Do you see it? That eerie woman kind of floating in the mezzanine. Now this has led mm -hmm. to a lot of conversation about Paramount's haunted history. Rebecca Trejo visited the theater today to talk with those who work there. At the Paramount Theater, musicians are regular guests, but ghosts have lingered in the 104 year old building. Two ghosts that have been with us for well over 50 years. Executive Director Jim Ritz says one of them is a woman in a white dress, always in the mezzanine heading toward the south wall of the theater. And what we believe the history is, is that next to the uh, Paramount Theater originally was the uh, War Department of the Republic of Texas. And the belief is that her husband had been a soldier who was missing and that she is constantly trying to get back over to the War Department to find out the fate of her husband. That phantom could be the woman that pianist Chad Lawson photographed when visiting Austin Sunday. Ritz says the second spirit is an elderly gentleman in the left opera box smoking a cigarette. And though we haven't seen him for a while, many of our folks over the past 10 years have s smelled the cigar smoke and the residue of cigars in that box. There is another very special spirit, and that's longtime projectionist Walter Norris, who died of a cardiac event here in 2000 and who always had a candy bar and soft drink. We've continued that tradition during our film season. And in fact, most recently, when we brought in our digital cinema package about three and a half years ago, we kept having problems and getting it installed and getting it to operate. And then one of our production people looked up and they went, oh my goodness, we don't have a soft drink or a candy bar up here. They went and they got one. And within three minutes, the digital cinema package was, uh, was working perfectly. So Walter's... And mm. as far, well, okay, so the big question yeah. here <laughs> is like, if the lady in the photo obviously is actually a ghost or not, so yeah. it could be a ghost, as was mentioned in my story, or it could also be an employee who was there watching the rehearsal. Yeah, I, I read a little bit about that, and they said that there was an employee working during that Don't time. Don't spoil it for everyone. Period. It's more fun to have the mystery. But I feel like you could easily confirm whether or not she was there wearing well, that but kind the, of clothing. The guy that took the photo time. said that he took um, three different photos, and the one before and after, like, simultaneously yeah. before that one. He did a quick... T right, and yeah. she wasn't there. Yeah, so, so probably not the worker. Yeah. We needed some ghostly music there. That would have been perfect. Yeah. perfect right before Halloween, yes. right? That's exactly. super interesting, though, the history behind yeah. all that. Yeah, it, it is one of the most beautiful buildings, too. Definitely. If you're a ghost, apparently, that's the place to that's be. That's the place to be. Nice place. Yeah, <laughs> right, that's a company. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs>